Hello, this is Iron Bill here, Too Old to Grind, once again back with another video. This uh, Today's offering is PvP, Iron Banner, and a bit of, of the clan got together today and we had some playtime, and uh, here we are in Rusted Lands. I'm working on the bounty for Iron Banner, I'm on my third character, I believe I'm on the shotgun step of the quest at this point in time. So we've had some up and down games as a team here, and we don't play a lot together, so we don't always communicate the best. And uh, you'll see us just kind of scatter and run around a bit. Uh, but at times, we actually gelled pretty well. We had this team that uh, we'd played previously that uh, had a, a character who was running a Jotun, maybe two. I don't know. But they handed it to us in the, in the previous match, and we came back this match and I matched them again. And we had to sort some things out. But in the end, uh, we came out pretty well, and, and you'll get to see that. Um, I wish I could showcase some great play here on my own part, um, but what you'll see is that I really am very clumsy at this, particularly when I'm uh, forced to use shotguns, which is a uh, close-range weapon. Uh, I had been trying to use an SMG to, to back that up, but uh, I don't know. The hand cannon just seemed to work better for me today, and um, especially with this this squad. we I tried to run an SMG the, the previous round against them, and that really did not work out well at all. So after kind of a rough start here, began to figure out you know, what I could and could not do. Uh, this is a trust hand cannon. It has explosive payload, but the range on this is probably not more than say 20, 25 meters max. And you can see that guy just blew me out of the air before I could get anywhere close to him. I only have a shotgun and a hand cannon. I really wasn't gonna be able to do much to him and he saw me long before I got to him. It's kind of a dumb play on my part. Um, at this point, I was running bottom tree um, arc because I wanted the arc bolts. Um, a bit of a passive build, but I thought uh, if, if I did that, at the very least, I'd be able to assist my teammates by giving them a, uh, an empowering rift and an arc soul on top of that. Uh, it's, the thing is, though, uh, this squad is a lot more mobile, so to play to set up a, a rift really wasn't the play at all need to be more aggressive and Lardy Parker directed me to change that up later on and I did and, and I would say it was probably the right call. Alright so that particular hunter was a bit of a pain. I mean he he could crouch and cause all kinds of mayhem um, but fortunately I had some backup at that point in time and then they got back up after that and it was pretty much toast. And you see there are two of them that remain so uh, I had to play a bit more passively as so as to stop feeding kills. That's something I noticed that I, and I'm not doing well here is I'm not playing well with my teammates. I keep kind of going rogue or getting myself isolated by not moving when they move. And you see right now that um, the bulk of the people are over on B and I'm not a strong enough player to take on one V2 like I'm trying to do here. I do manage to get one but there's another up there and I start to back out because it looks like two and realize that, you know, what the heck, I got nothing to lose. And so I came back and got another. Now, had they all rushed me at once, of course, that would have ended very quickly, but they didn't. Um, I put down the rift in order to gain a little power in an arc soul, and I think that might help me run into a grenade at first, back up. And at this point in time, I was running a, a really low resilience, and I just kept losing fights by a shot. Now, I later on changed that so that I, I could run a little higher resilience, and it did help out, but he's going to peel me off here uh, with a Monte Carlo. He just had a weight of fire on me that I, I couldn't match, and he had me flinched off of my shot, and that was the end of that. So, with no shotgun ammo, I really had no great way to counter him, and I was uh, trying to contest the zone. I mean, that's that's basically what I was doing. If, if I wasn't playing with the team, um, I probably would have avoided that situation. Now, there I was trying to, to keep them off of heavy. Um, I didn't get to use it and that'll be two times that I wind up doing it that way because um, I just can't spin fast enough. My look sensitivity is relatively low and um, if they come in behind me then pretty much they're going to kill me before I can do anything about it. Alright, there's that crouching hunter again. But we did peel him off and I'm thinking I'm capturing and then I suddenly realize we already have it and uh, uh, there's a fellow under here and I I had a hard time locating him. He was pretty shifty. He could uh, move around quite well. I noticed that my teammate is firing at someone in this corner, and then there's another that crosses over. He doesn't see me, so I melee him. And again, I'm, I'm out of shotgun ammo, and I'm stuck with a hand cannon. 
and um, more often than not, if, if they caught me at distance, I was going to have a hard time. And you see there, it took a while to pull that kill down. And uh, it was really mainly because he didn't see me first. We're well in command in this match, as you see. Uh, complete reversal from the match we'd had before with these guys. Um, I would have the audio turned up for them, but <laughs> there was a fair bit of frustration on our team and some colorful language and... and um, Probably in order to keep a G rating, I'm going to keep that sound off. So, um, not offended, but um, basically a lot of people see the videos, and I wouldn't want anyone to be offended. So, um, if you guys wonder why we can't hear the conversation, that's why. So, here we go. Super <clears throat> Bottom Tree Arc, by the way, has landfall. Uh, but this is not a terribly strong super and you can easily be shot out of it so as I was a lot today um, not a super fan of that to be honest I, I prefer uh, something more like a, a Nova bomb which essentially can't be stopped you know you, you toss that on a on a zone where people are st uh, standing and everyone's gonna die and they may kill me but they're not gonna get out of it okay so once again I wasn't quite sure I had the heavy and he managed to get me before I could get it off there but I think, uh, yeah, somebody came in and cleaned him up right after that. So I think it was, uh, oh, I don't know who did it. I, I can't read the buffer there. So, once again. And see, right there. I just, if I shot better, he would never have gotten that super off. Um, but I'm body shotting just not very solid with, with the hand cannon play. And it's getting better. Uh, and it's actually a lot better even on PC. I mean, I, I do fairly well on PC in terms of uh, accuracy, but PC's easier, you know, overall uh, to get your shots off. It's it's a more lethal setup. You can see things better. The aim assist is better. You move quicker. Uh, really just an all-around, in my opinion, better, better game. So enough of that commercial. So it's starting to look like um, we're going to put this away pretty quickly. And see that I'm just to the right of the guy. Just I can't quite nail that down. Um, and and what's bad is when you do that and you know you're doing it. <laughs> All right. So I was trying to play to the right, and uh, in case he came around that way, he didn't. They finished him off. Uh, finally, kind of staying with the group there a little bit. And then I decided to go the other way because someone is trying to hold down B. Um, we get it. And I'm going to move up for A, and I noticed down here there's someone isolated and decided to try my luck and uh, got the kill. Now bear in mind, I believe at this point I'm still trying to get shotgun kills, and they've got me super weak here, and normally this is the end for me, especially with the low resilience I'm running. I didn't have any shotgun ammo there to do anything with him, so it's all hand cannon. Um, and this is where... You really need to run scavengers. You know, I wouldn't be in such bad straits all the time with the heavy weapons if I would just run the right equipment, but live and learn. Anyway, that's it for the video. Iron Bill, signing out. Uh, I'm sorry, say that again.